It's a good idea to review your company's specific procedures for working on 34.5 kV lines and make sure that you're thoroughly familiar with the equipment that you'll be using. Remember, safety is always your responsibility. If an accident occurs, someone may be seriously injured. So you must constantly remain alert and use your knowledge of your company's system and equipment to make every job safer. To be prepared, you must be aware of the electrical hazards associated with working on 34.5 kV lines. You must also be able to positively identify 34.5 kV circuits and equipment on a system that uses more than one distribution voltage. Compared with 13.2 kV lines, the higher voltage level on 34.5 kV lines may create a greater hazard if a phase-to-ground or phase-to-phase -phase fault occurs. For instance, if the loose end of this insulator tie wire accidentally contacts the cross arm on this 13.2 kV line, it may or may not cause a fault, depending on the conditions present. However, because of the higher phase-to-ground and phase-to-phase -phase voltages present, the same accidental contact on a 34.5 kV line will almost definitely cause a fault, especially if the cross arm is damp or green. Because of the higher voltage, Current tracking on a 34.5 kV line can move farther across the surface of equipment than it can with lower distribution voltages. So current is more likely to track over to ground if there is dirt or moisture on equipment surfaces. In addition, the higher voltage on 34.5 kV lines may cause safety equipment that is marginal in its protective abilities to fail. So a thorough pre-use inspection of safety equipment is always important. If potential flaws aren't identified during equipment inspections, they could result in a fault when the equipment is used. Using the wrong class of safety equipment for the job can also cause a serious hazard. Thinking that you're working on a 13.2 kV line instead of a 34.5 kV line, or mixing up the classes of rubber protective equipment can be a fatal mistake. To the careless or misinformed observer, the 34.5 kV line located on the top cross arm may look similar to the 13.2 kV line on the lower cross arm. But there are differences that can be easily seen. For example, the insulators and the insulator pins and the cross arms used in 34.5 kV construction are usually larger than those used on 13.2 kV lines. In some cases, they may also be shaped differently. Thank you.